ToyTractorTimes.com is here with Doug Simon, and he's uh, going to give us a tour of his uh, Iowa dairy farm. And uh, there's a lot of great things going on here. What can you tell us about the display, Doug? Well, Jason, this is my newest display I just finished here this spring. So this is the Simon Family Farms 2.0, I want to call it. But uh, basically set the same area, eastern Iowa, roughly about 500 acres, 125, 130 dairy cattle farm. Uh, we start, this is the terrace of the hay field that has just recently been mowed and baled. So we've got the terrace with the trees, that little saplings in between here. And um, newest addition to the display is the beehives that I uh, recently added due to the fact that my future father-in-law is just recently started that as a hobby, beekeeping. So. I thought that would be kind of a neat little different way to add to the displays, a little neat detail. That's especially in a hayfield. Yep, exactly. Um, working our way back there, we got the the weeds and a little bit of uh, studs and stuff like that by the old old bales and stuff by the trailer parking here by the junk pile. Working our way over here, we got the machine shed, the roof off, and the shop. Uh, so all the equipment parked in there for the for the season, all finished up there, ready to get going on hay. So, so we've got a S1900 International truck. Yep. Uh, H&S Forge wagon. Uh, which model Landall or that uh, Landall Ripper? I'm not sure on the yeah, yeah the Landall Ripper Heston. there. Uh, Heston 4910. Yep, 4910, big square baler. Premier baler, bush hog. Yep, just a couple. Now, which uh, kind of mixer mill is that? That would be a Case IH mixer mill. I'm not quite sure on the model number. I think it's 1350, I believe. That was yeah. built by Scott Mueller. So, very nice piece of the collection there, all scratch built. Uh, then we got the typical scratch cast uh, eight row corn planter next to the Gordy New Holland baler. And then uh, a couple pieces built by either. Uh, Randy Glick with the New Holland disc bind, or uh, Matt Hollingshead with the John Deere 8820 combine. That will um, kind of take a peek at that combine because that's a, having a Hollingshead combine, so it was a nice addition to a display. And then we have a uh, dry fertilizer spreader built by Cody Austin, and then a couple other, and then the corn head built by Matt Hollingshead as well. Couple other pieces. We got the shop over here. Yep. Shop has, you know, just random couple tractor projects going on now. The 7140 with the hood off doing an overhaul with the 1486 in there as well with just, you know, routine clutter in the shop, especially in the during the busy season. So. And I noticed uh, on the grain bins here, you added the detail of kind of have bird droppings and things where they would sit. It seems to be a seems to be a hot spot for the pigeons here on Simon Family Farms is on top of the bins. So, what model uh, grain augers up against the shop here? That would be a, I believe it's a sixty-five or seventy footer. Not quite sure on the exact model number, but that is a West, Westfield auger built by Grant Peterson. Uh, very nice piece of the display. Uh, moving forward, we got. Up the up the hill, I should say, sitting on almost like a shelf of itself is the farmhouse with the yard and the uh, the garden there, and then following the the path back to the back forty, I should say. So I really like all the trees that you have on the display; they look um, very realistic. Yeah, all the trees were uh, bought by JTT. Um, they had a Black Friday sale last year. I was able to. Snag a couple deals there, but a lot of them were either from JTT or Scenery Express is where yep. I get all the scenery supplies. Well, I like the uh, tire swing. Yep, a couple details there added that mulch around the tree and uh, got the propane tank, clothesline, and uh, wood pile. My fiance was pretty adamant about a couple details that she wanted to incorporate into the display, <laughs> actually. One was a tire swing, and the other was a barn quilt. She actually painted herself and put on the front of the dairy barn. Well, that's great. So they're both awesome additions to the display. 
You also have all the, I like how the power lines go to each building. Yep. Power lines go to each to each building on the display. Got the lawnmower, Suburban. Old Johnny Lightning Suburban and the new green light Dodger Ram. I guess we get over into the farmyard here. Yep, over in the farmyard is a, uh, that's a replica of my father's truck that I rode with growing up, actually. He hauled milk from the the uh, dairy farms around eastern Iowa going to the local dairy up in Wisconsin. And that's kind of what really got my passion into wanting to build displays was going to all these different farms growing up and noticing you know, having cousins that farmed and grandparents that farmed and going to all these different farms has really got my my passion for agriculture and really kind of just got it going moving forward. So I wanted to incorporate that. It even has the the actual logo and striping on the on the truck as it did back then in the 90s. So it's probably one of my most proud pieces on the display to have. So. Um, we have the corn crib that has, still has a little bit of ear corn in. They they do use the the picker from time to time, which we'll see later. And it's just a little bit of ear corn in the feed, just to have a little bit of a different blend for the cattle there. So that looks like we've got corn chopping season underway. Yep. This uh, this display takes place in mid August, right around chopping corn silage season in Iowa so we have the MX270 that was built by Chris Steeb with a scratch cast chopper and a, a, a Meyer forage box that was customized by Scott Mueller and it's really a pretty good combo that we would see around here and especially for a farm of this size um, the field itself is all JTT corn stalks you know with um I should say uh, with Allen Chestnut and Top Shelf Replicas. About, I think, 12 to 1300 is what we had here. So, now what do you use to make the harvested stalks? The harvested stalks is from, a, from actually like a, a broom, a straw broom, just cut up and, you know, measured into rows with a straight edge and then just posted in with with a you know with a toothpick and glued down just to have the accurate rows. Now what model uh, tractors on the H&S wagon? The H&S wagon is a 1466 and that is built by John Eschy which is a just a, my, a mild customized H&S forage wagon. That looks like we have a calf pen here. Yep we got the calf pen for the yearlings there so just um, the the barn itself used to hold hogs and was retrofitted to hold uh, you know just yearling dairy cattle so the, the hogs have been gone for quite a few years and it was just retrofitted for that. And as um, just looking up here we can see the silo being filled. Yep silo's being filled right now that's a 1066 black stripe built by Brian Wong with a Massey Ferguson 2775 on the blower that was built by John Eschie as well. That looks like um, some of the older uh, flare wagons sitting here in Hayrake. Yeah, the, uh, the old retired lot I should say, but uh, the couple the flare boxes there used with the new idea picker sometimes with the fill in the corn crib they're seldomly used not too much anymore next to the new Holland 355 uh, rake that's not used too much anymore due to the we the farm purchased a V rake a couple years ago a new coon but you know with next to the the mulcher that's not so that's used seldomly but the buff, the brilliant stock chopper used quite a bit actually yet. So, and then uh, we've got the commodity shed. Commodity shed has um, all the you know part of the ration for the dairy cattle. It has a uh, corn meal and 
soybean meal and uh, cottonseed mixture, I believe, in there, along with some extra bale storage. So, and inside here, this is the hay shed, which was just an old machinery storage back in the day. But there's the new idea corn picker next to the the Krauss um, accelerator, and then the, also the uh, the bean rail is in there as well. Next, you know, with some that's primarily where the farm holds its big square storage. For and then we got the some little uh, hay racks here. Yep, the, the old hay rails. racks. We do we do small square some straw bales primarily to keep in the hay loft for the dairy barn. And we do, we do sell some. Uh, horse farmers primarily do in, like buying the, the hay and straw bales from us for bedding and feeding purposes. Then, um, which uh, what is the building over here? That would cows? be the heifer shed. Okay. So, when the farm, so you have the calf barn here, and then you you move over to the yearlings, and then primarily when they grow. They keep, they keep getting moved over and then here's the heifer shed which down the line they move from the heifer shed this gate opens and then they work their way the cattle over to the pasture so and then here's the long line of the pasture which goes into the freestyle barn which is how they get worked into the the cow barn. I've got some more equipment out here in the mm -hmm. More equipment, yeah. More equipment storage is. We have just you know a bale mover here for big squares and rounds. We have an eight bale round bale mover here next to the uh, the just the Kill Brother wagons here sitting parked for storage. And then there's the brand new coon rake the farm per recently purchased. And then the Kiwani elevator and the small Westfield auger that's still still used on the farm regularly. So. Now what's the uh, smaller building here? Smaller building is actually a calf barn. I'll pull the roof off. So all the all the bucket bottle calves that we keep, we primarily keep the heifer calves and sell. We keep the bull calves for a little while until we usually sell them at the sale barn, since we're mostly AI at this farm. But um, all the heifer calves usually stay, and that's. You know that's where they go until they start moving when they age group. So uh, back here behind the older barn, uh, we can see a hose and some tanks. And yep, hose in the tanks is for the uh, the liquid feed supplement that Kill Off brings with a, a semi tanker truck that pumps that in. It gets mixed with the the TMR feed rations with the cattle. So and here we look like we've got the skid steer row. Yep, that's with all the attachments. Yep, brand new. Brand new to us, I should say, Gale Skid Skier, built by Lee Johnson. We did an awesome job with that. With a wide variety of attachments, some fit it. So, we have some pallet forks and materials bucket. And going down the line, we got a couple bale spears and the grapple bucket there and tire scraper with pallet forks. And then we've got the the freestall. That's that is the newest building to display, and I'm pretty proud of it. Andrew Andrew Winshuttle from Minnesota built it and did an awesome job. I recommend him for anybody that's looking for to have a building made. Um, built it to exactly the specific yeah specifications that I wanted. Um, everything from the from the tarp doesn't actually roll up, but the simulated tarp on the to that to the clear to the clear plastic on the side and all the trusses that were actually built on the building so very proud of that that looks like you've got some manure management with a coon and a new idea yep that's spreader. just a stock uh, a stock Norscott a coon night manure spreader that I just weathered up and detailed up and next to that was a new idea box spreader built by Randy Glick did an excellent job on that as well. And, uh, looks like you have a lagoon with a nun spreader. Yep, just a there. little dry and liquid manure storage there. And it's all looks like it's been cleaned out recently and then had the noon 
5,000 manure spreader there with the Huey uh, three-point manure spreader. Uh, the, sorry, the pit pump. So how many cows again are being milked on this farm? This farm see. would hold roughly about 125 to 130 dairy cows right now. Well, thank you for the tour around the display. It's very impressive and great to see a family-sized Iowa dairy farm done in such great detail. Absolutely. Thanks, Jason.